Hi, and welcome to Brush Tips with Sherry. Today we are going to be painting a butterfly. Now this one is a very popular painting with a lot of my art friends, like you all. Um, when I posted this on my Facebook page, tons of people were like, please do this one online. Do this one for the show. So here it is. This one's for all of you. We are going to actually, we'll dedicate this one to my aunt, my Aunt Kathy, because she really, really wanted me to paint it. So when she follows along, she'll be able to paint it too. So this one is a really, really fun palette. We have silver. We have white. We have black, we have red, and we have purple. Now this one is a little bit of a splatter painting, so I might only do just a little tiny bit of splatter because I don't want to splatter it everywhere in here. I'll show you how to do a controlled splatter once we get to that point. But we are going to start off with our Big Daddy brush. Just dry that off. So here's our Big Daddy brush, like normal. And then we are going to use our regular round brush. This one's a popular guy too, so you should have one of those. First, we're going to start with the background. So the background is all silver, and all we're going to do is just start painting. And you see how it's textured? It's the way that I'm working my brush. You can even add some white in here and make a different shade. It'll take away that shiny silver, but it will add a little texture looking. Don't forget about your tops and your sides. Oh, I just grabbed the white. Let's clean that off. Let's grab some more silver. So I'm gonna throw this on here through this middle part because I really need this to dry in between. I don't want it real thick. Well, I don't. You do. You want to make yours a nice thick background. Don't forget about your sides. I always feel bad when people leave the studio and they forget to paint their sides. I'm like, bring it back. We'll paint it. We'll paint it later. Bring it back. <laughs> If they message me later on, they're like, I forgot to paint my side. All right. So you can see how I'm just quickly, almost like we're dusting. Dusting or like sweeping a floor. We're not staying in one spot too long. We're always moving up and down, side to side. Now you can buy this stuff. It's a uh, great. Now I totally forgot what it was called. Artist friends help me out here. <laughs> it's it's like a medium, but it's a real thick base for an acrylic. It's almost to make it so it looks like an oil painting. Oils take a really, really long time to dry, so I don't usually use them in my classes or even here. Um, but this would be a good background for a nice oil painting because that'll give you lots of texture also. So you can buy this stuff in any local store, any local craft store. And it'll give you a, like a raised background. Don't forget about your sides. I'm getting a little low on my silver, so I'm just going to add some more. Silver isn't really a bulk color that I buy, so I just buy these cute little tubes here. The same thing with the gold, too. I just buy the cute little tubes. Now, if you don't want to have a textured background, definitely just go straight across like this. Okay. And it'll still give you that little bit of texture look, but not a lot. All right. I'm going to bring that texture back, though. This is a fun background. I hope you all enjoy painting it. 
let's flip it to its side. Make sure we got this part really, really good. Like I said, I'm notorious for forgetting to do my sides and my bottom. Hit your bottom. Do this side. So last night we had open studio <laughs> and uh, we actually painted a dress. We shot the dress with squirt guns. It was a white dress. You can look at our Facebook page to check it out, but it was so fun. Um, it's actually in my dress that I'm gonna wear in the blue tip parade. So if you're not from Wadsworth, we have a giant blue tip parade. Check it out. It is so fun. It's definitely something to bring the kids to. It's a very, very long parade. It's so fun though. Everyone looks forward to it every year. So we will be in that parade. We're actually gonna walk around and do a painting with everybody. So if you're in the parade and you see me, just yell, hey, Sherry. And I'm gonna be coming around and we're gonna paint with you. Just a quick one, just where you can like hit the canvas real fast. So I'm just adding this texture back in here. Now my painting over here was actually done on a gessoed canvas. If you're not sure what a gessoed canvas is, there was actually a painting on it before and then I wanted to paint on it again. So I went over it with white and um, called gesso and it erases your painting and basically brings you back to a clean canvas. So I have lots of paintings, obviously doubles or triples sometimes of paintings. So I'll go over them with the white and that's what kind of gave me a little bit of the textured background. So if you aren't achieving the textured background that you really want, definitely get some of that um, medium stuff. And that will help build your canvas up, build up your background. You just mix it right with your paint and then you just add it on there. So we're gonna let this dry a second. So for you at home, you guys get to pause this and walk away. Go get a little snack, make a fresh cup of coffee. For me, I'm gonna stand here and let it dry. Actually, I'm gonna drop it on the floor. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now we're gonna let it dry, right? <laughs> All right, remember, art's not perfect. <laughs> if you drop your canvas, it's okay. Just pick it up and start over. Usually I catch it midair, so I wasn't fast enough today. Here we go, just let this dry. Now when we go to do the butterfly, all it is is one stroke. We're gonna start and we're just gonna bring it out, just one quick stroke. Let's fan this off. Got a little paint on the ground. If that happens at your house, just go ahead and wipe it up with some soap and water or if it's already dry, you can actually take a spray um, window cleaner and spray it, let it sit for a second, and then scrape it off, it'll come right off. So don't be scared if you drop your painting. And we're gonna let this dry a second. It's looking pretty good. Look what I did down there. So I'm just gonna actually clean off my brush. We're gonna add that back in. That's what happens when you have a wet painting. Try to dry it. Perfect. There we go. Just clean that up. Now, this is pretty wet up here. I'm just going to take some of this. Now, you can use a gold background if you really want to do a gold background. Um, I love the gold. It's super pretty. I'm actually... I think I'm going to paint my bedroom gold. This is what I'm going to do because I love the gold colors that much, especially in the paint. It just brings out so much rich yellow color and the gold color, and it's just amazing. Okay, so what I want you to do is I don't have my chalk with me, so we're not going to use the chalk. We're going to use 
this little round brush. If you do have your chalk, what I want you to do is I want you to chalk on your body. So I'm just going to take this little round brush here. I'm going to make a little circle. And then I'm going to make a little body. Okay. We just want to have a base. So if you have a piece of chalk, definitely grab it and just put this on. Put this little guy on here or girl, whatever you want to make. You want to make a boy butterfly or girl butterfly. It doesn't matter. And right here, just real softly. And all I do is when I bring it up and then I release. Okay, so try that. And then I just dab little antennas on real lightly. They don't need to be real dark. Perfect. And bring this down this way. Play with this a little bit. Add the head, make it a little bit more round. What do I keep doing that for? I keep making like a little ledge, like he has a back forehead or something. <laughs> Fill out the belly a little bit. And lift. Remember, lift. That's what we're going to be doing, a lot of lifting in this painting here. Okay, so now we have this little guy here. Remember, if you're painting along, definitely send me messages with any questions that you have or if you need some help or some advice. Don't forget, I'm always at the other end, so you can call me or just shoot me a text or uh, email me. I've had a couple of you paint along with me and then send me those pictures, so be sure to send me your pictures if you're painting along with me so we can post them with your permission on our Facebook page. So I'm going to grab some of this purple here, okay? And what I want you to do is I want you to just make a quick bottom wing, okay? And then you're going to come in and make a quick top wing. So that's going to be your base, okay? This is where we're going to start working out of. Real quick, push, lift. Then you can come up here, push, lift. See how we're doing that here? We want this to be like a big almond shape, but up here we want to lift. So lift. And then lift. Just kind of play along here. Play around with it. And lift. Do you see how I'm lifting each time? Same over here, bring it up and lift. So it's gonna kind of look like a really big flower petal and that's what we want. So let's play with this bottom one here. And lift, lift, lift. So we want two separate wings because a butterfly has a top wing and a bottom wing. So make sure that you add those two different wings in there. I'm going to take a little tiny bit of this red. I don't want to go too crazy with it. I just want to add some pretty highlights. And again, just stick and lift. Almost like you're cleaning all of the paint off your brush, okay? You can always add more paint, you just can't take it away all the time. So I like to pull off, almost like I'm cleaning my brush on the side, and we have very, very, very little bit of paint on there. And then we can whoosh, whoosh. You like those sound effects? Those are true sound effects. <laughs> whoosh, whoosh. Okay, that's funny that I'm doing that. I'm going to bring some more purple into here. Oh, I almost dropped some. That was a lot. I added a lot there. That's okay. It's all right. My silver isn't dry all the way, so mine is kind of being a little crazy, but yours should be completely dry because remember, you stopped for a second and let it dry. 
made yourself a nice cup of coffee or tea or got a water. Let this dry a second. I just want to add some really brights through here real quick too. I added a lot there, so I'm just going to bring it back down, pull from here, and clean my brush off. Now it'll almost feel like you're dry brushing. If that feels like that, just wet the tip of your brush just a little bit, and then you can actually move your paint just with some water. And that'll help fill in any of those see-through spots, okay? We're gonna come back in and fix up this body too. So just be patient with us, or with yourself, I should say, because you're probably getting a little impatient with the drying process. This is layers, so it's drying, but it gives you a good opportunity to kind of walk away, take a good look at it. Remember how many times I tell you all the time, like step back, take a look at it, walk away from it. Sometimes there's paintings that I leave for a couple days and come back to. So it's okay to do that. So I'm pretty happy with my background now. So I'm going to take or my butterfly wings, my round brush here. I'm gonna bring that body back in. So roll it through the black to get that nice sharp point and just bring your body back in. If you lost it, if your body was dry, then you don't even need to bring it back in. Mine was not dry, so I lost a little bit of it. Also with this, I'm actually going to real quickly just add a couple quick black lines. We're gonna come in and we're gonna add some black dots too. Let's add a quick like little squiggly over here. Let's add a fun little squiggly there and add a little squiggly here. Let's do some dots. Let's do a line, a couple dots. This is just decorating this guy. It's whatever you would like to do. Just bring this here. Bring that down. All right. So we're going to do this with red also, and you can even do it with the purple too, because it's fun. Let's see here. Let's do a good size circle right here to kind of decorate those um, wings. Let's bring a little circle here. Now remember, with your circle, if you're kind of freaked out about making a circle, if you've watched any of the shows that we have a moon in, don't touch your canvas yet, just do your circle. Once you feel like you have a good round motion going, go ahead and add your circle. You'll see it just makes a perfect circle every time. Okay, super fun, fancy trick. All your friends will be like, how do you make that circle every single time? You're gonna be like, dude, I'm an artist. That's why I just said, dude, like I'm 12. <laughs> it's all right. Play with this a little bit. All right, so I'm going to clean off my brush, clean off that little guy. I'm gonna come in with some purple, some of this straight purple. If you wanna make it a little lavender, you can add some white to it and mix it together. It'll actually be like a lavender color. Just to add some fun colors to it, just for fun, right? Let's take some more purple. We'll add a purple little circle right here, one right here, and then a line. And let's take, you know what I want you to do? Take some over here. Oh, I already did some right there. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Clean off that brush. Let's bring some red in. 
Now with the red, there's a lot of little dots. If you are kind of nervous about making dots perfect, flip your brush over. I know that we've used this little fancy trick sometimes too. And just come in with the side. There we go. See how we do that? Then do the same thing here. Just add, do it in a little circular motion and it's gonna bring you a bigger bump, bigger circle. Not bump, why did I say bump? Perfect. And let's do some, let's do some just right here. Are we seeing these little dots? Let's do some along here. And let's actually mix some purple and some red together. And we'll do a couple down here. There we go, perfect. Remember, there's no right or wrong way how to do this. We're just doing it where we think we want to. Whoop. Oh, look what I did there. That's all right, you can wipe that off. Perfect. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is looking so great. I can't wait to see everyone's masterpieces. So I'm gonna come in with that red. Ooh, my brush was super wet. All right, clean that off. There we go. Dry it off. Then we're going to come in with this red, just kind of add some flair to it. Kind of outline the wings a little bit. And play along with it here. Perfect. I love it. It's looking great. Um, let's see, where else do I have some fun, fun marks? We have some little circles through here. And add a couple there. All right. Now with the splatter painting, I do suggest that you go to an area where you aren't worried about getting paint on. If you're not really good at splatters yet, definitely take it outside and put it in the grass. So I am going to clean off my Big Daddy brush, and I promise you we're gonna do controlled splatters. All right, so let's dry this brush off. Get all that dirty water out of there. If you want, you can change your water. If not, it's okay too. We're actually going to take the brush and we're going to dig our nail down into it. So if you can see here, I don't know if you can really even see it, but we're going to dig our nail down into it and we're going to pull the bristles back and we're going to let them pop out. So bring it back and let them pop out. And as they're doing that, it's going to splatter the paint. Okay. So we want to make sure that we get our paint just deep inside there. We're going to push on this red get some whoop, i just dropped a little bit on the floor get it nice and wet and then i want you to get close to your canvas okay let me use the other hand here and just quickly splatter okay whoop, we dripped another little drip it's all right remember we can clean that off the floor just make sure i'm not getting it on the wall And if you get real close to your canvas, now I know a lot of you are going to want to throw it at it. That is not how you do splatter painting <laughs> controlled anyway. You could definitely go outside and splatter it like that if you want. You will get big splatter marks though. Splatter paintings are fun as long as they're done correctly, right? When we splattered that dress yesterday, oh my gosh, I had to lay down a big sheet of paper. And then we splattered it. It was fun though. I'm gonna get some good splatters out here. I'm gonna clean off my brush. So I have drips of water on the floor and that's okay because remember we can clean that stuff up. 
You can even lay down newspaper if newspaper will be better. I'm going to clean off my little fingers here. We're going to add some black and then we're going to sign our painting. Let's do some black splatters. And there we go. Splatter up here. Whoop, we're dripping. Splatter here. Splatter wherever you want. And yes, you're going to get messy. So be ready for that. If you drip a little, that's OK. Just kind of rub it out. You can also add some white on top of this if you want to splatter it with some white just to make some of those areas pop. Look at all this floor. Good thing we clean up, right? So if you are happy with your painting, definitely let it dry and then you can hang it up and you'll have an amazing masterpiece. Let me make sure that the bottom's done there. Oh, we're dripping a little there. Perfect. So one more thing. Grab your little round brush there. Roll it through that black and claim your masterpiece. Ready? See? There we go. Awesome. And just like that, you're done. Thank you again for watching. Make sure you send us your artwork so that we can feature it on our Facebook page. And check in next week for our next painting.